without the oysters, there is no ecosystem. Just like without trees, there's no forest. So what we're trying to do is to restore the landscape. The Billion Oyster Project grew out of the New York Harbor School. It's a public high school located on Governor's Island, where we are now. And it started in an aquaculture classroom. Students growing oysters for the purpose of restoration as a narrative for the teaching and learning that happened in the aquaculture classroom. Oysters are ecosystem engineers. It was a dominant habitat type in New York Harbor for tens of thousands of years. And then we ate them all and removed that ecosystem entirely from the landscape. So if you imagine that New York Harbor is a 200,000 acre open space that used to be a forest, it would be obvious that we should plant trees. We think of oysters as sort of like the, the organism that literally built New York City. They provide habitat for fish and critters, they filter water, and if a reef grows large enough, they can also protect shorelines. So we chose oysters because it's sort of like the native species of New York City. We recognize that restoration and environmental restoration of any kind is just not possible without the youth for tomorrow who are really going to be embracing this work and be able to take this forward. In a place like this you are really seeing the impact because it's very groundwork and everyone is part of the restoration dirty work. We essentially provide programming for students, community members around different reef sites in New York City. We'll pull it up identify the different critters and species that we find at these reef sites and at these oyster structures, but it's all very hands-on based. It feels like I'm making a difference in that we are adding to the biodiversity and the health of our harbor and it's significant. I'm really grateful that I get to make a difference and help keep our world sustainable. Volunteers play a huge role in Bay Noise Project success. They help to sort and clean shells at our shell curing site on Governor's Island. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of pounds of shells being cleaned and sorted by volunteers. It's a huge impact to have so many volunteers come every day, working really hard, getting their hands dirty, and we love the fact that our volunteers are always coming back. As long as adults and professionals are willing to trust young people with the important work of ecosystem restoration, and you know, research and driving boats and building reef structures and this is something that could happen in most coastal cities in the world where oysters used to thrive and we've eaten them all. 22 of the largest 30 cities in the world are built on tempered estuaries like New York Harbor. So this is something that absolutely has relevance in all of those places. Ultimately, what we're trying to accomplish is restoring a sustainable oyster population to the harbor and doing that in a way that engages as many different people as possible. So we want all of New York City to come together to restore New York Harbor. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, looking out at a harbor that's totally full of life and everyone in New York City knows about it, you know, relies on the harbor as an open space to take advantage of and takes care of the harbor. That's our ultimate goal.